will all work. I'm sure it will. If you say so. No, um, Joey. Close all of your <laughs> porn and drug buying on the internet before the stream goes live. <laughs> Hurry! Oh, I didn't double check that I had other programs closed, like Spotify. Do I have Spotify open? No? Okay, we're fine then. Um... Okay. I'm waiting for the chat to appear, and then we will make our <coughs> official beginning. I can't quite believe that we're going to start a new game. I know. It feels weird that you're going to hit play and we're not going to be on the ranch. Yeah. No more ranch. No more ranch. Okay, there we go. I am in the chat. Also, I have dedicated a page of my bullet journal to detective notes. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I wish I had done that. What a fool. You still could? I don't think so. N no? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, my bullet journal is on the other side of the room. The window of opportunity is gone. Okay. Hi, Tim. Welcome. Hello, Timothy. <laughs> Did you just call him Timothy? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said hi, Tim. Okay. Um, the baby has a middle name now. I'm not going to say his full name on this stream because that seems weird, but... He's a baby. He's not even using his social... social... <sighs> I don't know. Social... The, um, what is Social... Mm, you know, the number. Security God. number? Social security number? Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah. Okay, the important part of this story is that his initials are E-G-O. Ego. So I'm just gonna call Great. him Baby Ego constantly. That's very good. Um, Thanks. Alternate suggestion. You could also call him Baby Ego. I could... That is true. Because he's just a cute little waffle. Yeah. I'm um, so deeply ashamed that I couldn't remember social security on, like, right at the beginning. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> um, well, you know, I gotta save it all for detectiving. Oh, yes. Is detectiving a word, Caitlin? Hey, can you just let me have this? <laughs> I've already embarrassed myself. I don't need you. <laughs> okay. Well, um, hello, folks. Uh, in case there are any newcomers, I'm Joey, and you can find me on Twitter at Joey the Prince. And we're playing The Curse of Blackmore Manor. T well, Nancy Drew, The Curse of Blackmore Manor today. And by we, I mean me and the Ned Nickerson to my Nancy Drew, or the Nancy <laughs> Drew to my Ned Nickerson. I, it is oh. unclear who is who in this scenario, but, um, Caitlin. Hi, I know what a social security number is. <laughs> That's where, it. Where can people find you on Twitter, Caitlin? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at social security underscore haver. <laughs> or at Chello and Behold. Perfect. Um, I don't remember what else I was going to say. <laughs> I don't Tim says that he hopes we play as Nancy this time. We always Me play too, as Tim. Nancy. <laughs> um, Plot twist: We're actually playing as the uh, the ghost horse. Case, the curse of Blackmore Manor. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure we are games or new junior to detective, detective, choose gameplay overview. Yes, we always play as junior because senior just we takes are. away your hints and you die more easily. Oh, this is the epiphany I had, Caitlin, is that I think. In that other game, all the ways we could have died and didn't were because we were playing as junior detective as senior detective and not senior detective. So, like, it gave us more chances, is my theory. When, when are you thinking that we could have died but did not? Remember when I was reading about Shadow Ranch after we had finished playing it and it was like, you can die or get kicked off the farm for all of oh, these things, including, vegetables. like, yeah, okay. picking unripe vegetables yeah, yeah, yeah. and 
taking eggs from the angry chicken um and i think it gave us multiple chances on those because we were like, <laughs> the chicken had mercy sensing yes. inherently that we were juniors but yeah um junior detective oh oh Dear whoops Ned, we're doing it here we go England. although right now i'm not so sure about the jolly part that's because i'm on my way to blackmore manor where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married so Hugh weird Pendleton, they use a real photos. Hugh travels a lot, yeah. so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into oh, the manor, um... her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother mm -mm. is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. <laughs> Night, Mish. Oh! Oh. Okay. Here we go. Uh... Ooh, spooky. Oh my oh, gosh. Shit. Whoa. Nancy. <gasps> what? What the fuck? Who's there? Hello? Oh man, we're in it, huh? Ah! There's something out there. Where, child? Over there. And it's gone. I mean, something was out there. Uh, come in. Off to a great start. I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you are Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Um... So she's definitely poisoning the child, right? <laughs> Holy shit. That this is sumptuous. was a lot. And this is a lot also. Um, hey, how... I'm wondering uh, what... Sorry, I'm so brain dead. Um, if the voices in the game are too loud, because I can adjust those separately from the music and stuff so let me know folks um tim asks is this fmv and i don't actually know what those letters stand for sorry if that's really obvious and i'm an idiot i might be full metal fancy <laughs> great i'm pretty sure um now we have so many things to look at Ooh, who wants to read some latin Ludi sine gaudio, ludi non sunt. It's a meta commentary about how gaudy the room's decorations are. Hi, Bug! Welcome! Okay, I gotta write some stuff down. Like this, um, you know, motto thing. Uh, so, that beginning was terrifying. Pretty sure we're going to get eaten by a wolf at some point. The music is strong so far. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, into it. Sorry, I'm just drawing this little thing and, you know, 
It's difficult. I'm doing remarkably well. Okay, perfect. You missed a terrifying voice saying Nancy. You missed a um, growl and you missed some red glowing eyes in the darkness. That's... <sighs> Those were the main things that have happened so far. And um, the caretaker of the house telling us that Americans are prone to seeing things in the moors at night. Yeah. This oh. is fun. Oh. You know, just a snake button. Fascinating. Okay. Obviously, we have to do this with, like, certain parts being certain colors, right? And then it'll open. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to come back to that. Is that... Oh. Okay. It's all the same. We can just look at different sides of it, I guess. Or there's different oh. solutions for different sides? Maybe, because depending on the side, it should, like, that shows us the whole thing open, and then this one shows us the crescent, and this one shows us the half. Hmm. So that's confusing. I already noticed some moon symbols here, because look at the compass rows. You have a whole moon and a crescent and a half, and then the other with the colors that are in the box too yes those colors exactly um i had only remembered the red and so but i'm gonna make sure that's marked down okay okay great let's see what else is in this room Oh, can we look at that portrait of a friend on the wall? In a second, yes. Wow. Physics. Yep. Incredible. Whoops. Nope, oh, turn off. Okay. Oh, what a good friend. I can't look at I'm actually kind of thinking on. of the turtle in the more ornate frame to the right oh. above the chair. Okay, I already tried looking at that and I cannot. That's fine. I will admire I like him from this afar. Pegasus too. It's good. Oh, are you telling me that oh. you're excited about the horse? I've never been excited about a horse <laughs> in my life. <laughs> oh, speaking oh of horses. Goodness. Oh, wow. This um, room is okay. so intense. Like little snakes on the frames. Some Egyptian gods with an IKEA lamp. <laughs> Um, there's a bed and an alarm clock. Yes. Which... So that's gonna be, like, treasure in the royal tower again. To return to our roots. Yep. Loud and accurate, just like me. And we can call Cook and Hugh. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to open the drawer, but I guess not. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I don't Why? like that. I don't Why know. Why do we have that power? <laughs> that reading chair looks plush as hell. Yeah, it does. For a camera, maybe? Fascinating. Nancy, that is for a telescope. Come on now. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, I... I guess we're going to need this information for something. 
Yeah. Maybe we're going to have to identify these Maybe. pictures with those words. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out eventually. The pixelation of the screen sharing goes hand in hand with those really heavily curled gothic fonts. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look in our suitcase. Is that the same suitcase from... I don't remember. Do remember. Apparently I cannot look in it. I have a button-up shirt, a t-shirt, a lot of jeans... So many jeans. Tops. That's how Nancy Drew rolls. Four pairs of pants and one very chaste pink button-up. Can I really not look at anything else? <clears throat> okay. And then, yeah, we're back. That's the fireplace. Let's get out of here. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um... Are you ready to get lost? <laughs> oh, yep. Uh -huh, I sure am. You know how bad I am at this. Well, Ethel, do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes. Who are I'm these people afraid. talking? Oh. oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Oh no. I don't even. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> oh, uh uh. Uh uh. I. I hate no, him. You didn't. Did you? Did you? What's your name? Lolo. Okay, oh, I get the point. Lulu. Do you by any chance know Latin? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Would you mind translating something for me? Fire away. No. Quinoctium vernum. The longest day of the year is solstitium. The solstice. <laughs> What is happening? Shh. <laughs> okay, so the map with the the constellations had said spring equinox on it, and maybe also fall equinox, but it definitely said spring equinox. Bye, bird. Oh, um, can you put the cover back on it, please? Uh, maybe. No. Great. There, now it's back on. Okay, we now have some very ominous music. Also, sorry, there's a lot happening in the chat. Hello, welcome, Nat. Uh, we're in a British mansion that is so creepy so far. So creepy. I need the key. Do you hear this music? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. I feel like something's gonna get us. I feel like Nancy Drew has died in one of her adventures. This must be Mrs. Drake's room. And She's slipped into a room. hell dimension. Oh. That's our room. No, it's not. Where are we? No, it's not our room. I'm lost already. Oh, this is spooky. It's so spooky. Oh, we haven't looked at our phone yet, but we should. Why can we look at these things and not interact with them? Cell phone, hand lotion, mirror. There's someone back there. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. 
I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. My condition? What's my Yeesh. mother told you? What her son-in-law keeps telling me? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? Yikes. I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some mm -hmm. doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now it's Excuse me? Mommy, can I come in? No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Yikes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me. There's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Uh. Um. Jesus Christ, Nancy. <laughs> do we like lean? No, I'm. I can't no, say please, that please first do it. thing. No, I'm sorry. We already have it's to burn it. It's both Latin. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll let you rest. But I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Wow. Let's keep this snooping is, around her room. This has been so... Like, this is already cranked all the way to 11. And we're I five know. minutes in. Um, really, really well done picture collages so there. Some A plus Photoshop. Women do not look very happy. Okay, this music is like as bad as the ghost music, and they're just hitting us with it right from the get go. Okay, I'm leaving this room. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that's our room. That's our room. With this tree thing on the door. Oh. I need the key. I need the key. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. Oh, do we? Do I have? No. No. Let's Did check I? our phone while we're here. Interesting. Okay, so that's not the key into our room. Room key. It's just some other... Wait, no. This isn't... This is not our room. You must be Nancy. Ah! I'm so pleased oh. you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Not right now. Maybe later. I'd like to ask some questions first. Sure, what do you want to know? About Mummy? I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. When did she start getting sick? I was playing in Mummy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mummy's nightstand. Did you recognize the woman? I couldn't see her face because she wore a cape with a hood. The lady put a note on Mummy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mummy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Do I play a game with this horrible child that I also yes. feel really bad yes. for? Yes. Sure. What would you like to play? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I'll oh. there in the hope someone would come over to play. We can play great. bowl, constellation match, petroglyph punch, skull and bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You sure have a lot of games. I love games. I want to make computer Aww. games when I grow up. Can we play with the very haunted doll? I want to play constellation match. Haunted Doll Watch. How about a game of petroglyph punch? Oh God, that's... this is a game I bought in Arizona. You have to make as many matches as possible. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. 
What? what? I was a little af- I was a little afraid it was just gonna be the coyote game. Yeah, I know. As soon as she said Arizona, I was like, oh god. Um. Oh, okay. Line up three glyphs in a row or column. Line up four. Line up five. We're gonna play on easy. Easy, yeah. How do I line them up, though? How, like... Oh, they're the same petroglyphs. Oh, yeah, they or are. Or some of them are. Like... Oh, I see. Okay, I can swap Is it things. to swap? I... Th there we go. Oh, this is bad. It's so bad. It's so hard to look at anything here. Can you line them up diagonally? Probably. Is there another one you of those? You have two white puffs already lined up diagonally, and you can move a third white puff in. Oh, yep. Okay. I guess no. not. Um... You have three white feet. Yep, there's... Oh, you just got a third Thunderbird, too. <sighs> okay. Oh, do we have to play again? <laughs> this is terrible. This is the worst game I've ever played. That's not true. Probably. Is it true? I don't know. We've played some bad games. We have played some bad games. You have one almost down in the top left corner. Thank you. Could you go? I'm trying. I'm stuck again. Do I have one more of those? No. Do I have another one of those? No. Do I have. Oh. You have three pink monsters? Monster faces? The blue monster faces on a pink background? I believe it's you. a light pink. Oh, I just saw. Yeah. Um, the magnet game was the worst game, says Nat, and I absolutely agree, except that it wasn't really a game. It was hell. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Um... You have three blue ducks. Yes. You have three light blue running men. I don't know if this is helpful or not. <laughs> Oh, I have, like, a bunch of these. Although, I can't get all five, because they're... Oh, well. Probably a better way to do that. Oh, you, the pink one just went right back in. Um... You have three elephants on, like, an orange background? Oh, I have a bunch of these, too. Ah, shit! I almost had oh, five no. of those! You almost did it! <sighs> it's You fine. did good, though. You got better every round. Okay, no. Let me... Let me out of this game. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Terrifying. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? 
Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. The lady in black you saw in Linda's room, did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the Great Hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds weird, that's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. Okay, we're gonna play one more play game because I think mm -hmm. she'll tell us about something else. Let's play that constellation matchup game. Okay, I actually found it in your room. Actually, it's Bridget's <laughs> room. I mean, it used to be her room. I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the great, great. hall. She's ah, the one, with the, one the with the telescope. Okay, so you have to match up a pair of constellations. I made all the matches in 40 tries. Try to beat my record. Oh, man. Oh, this 40? is like memory, right? Yeah. Or, no, that's not. I have already done this wrong. It's fine. <sighs> oh. Oh, that's the first one. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we saw Scootum, did we? No. Nope. Okay. Oh! Wow. Look at that. Hell yeah! That one's down here. You're so smart. Did we, I feel like we did- That's the one you just did between the, between the two oh, sicknesses. Okay. Great. Muska was- nope. One of those? Yes. Okay. That's the. Forgotten. It's to the left. One? Left. Yeah. yeah. That's nope. the bottom row. There we go. You beat my score. Felicitations. <sighs> really, you're not gonna get, me get going. any more I information. Walk. Okay. <laughs> oh, great! She hums. Can we poke around her room? Oh, she's yeah. a she's a musical nerd. Yeah. There's the game's chest. Yeah, I don't want to click on any of them because I don't want to play any of them. I'm sure we will play more in the future. Yep. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total hottie. Yeah. Only I on like the Heartthrob wizard... channel. I like her wizard Sona. Yeah. Okay, there's a Pegasus, like, in our room. Looks like you're learning oh, no. some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. So she's learning about Brigitte Penvalin, who lived in our room, and then biography. Oh, she's right. Those are biography interests and the ballad of. Okay. And then French conjugations and history. Latin. Oh, she's a person that we might be able to ask about that other Latin inscription. Instead of the damn bird. Science, gravity and the weight of objects, winter star constellations, math. We have that little gravity... English, in our room Tale of Two Cities, and then, physics toy. okay, art things, yes. No, don't do it, oh. You know I had to. You know, the only oh, thing look, that would make that better is if it was pig. Had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. When? Oh. I don't know, I'd really rather not think about it, alright? Okay, game. <laughs> Is this house haunted by a ghost of a guinea pig? We're gonna see a phosphorescent <laughs> guinea pig galloping through the hallways. <laughs> it's the phantom pig! <laughs> oh. Um. This is something. Oh, that's her door. This creature's eyes blink. Did it? Yes. 
Oh. I saw it multiple times. I don't like that. Is that an easy bake oven? I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients yep. are so nasty. Like I would eat meal ones. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great, great, great. We're gonna have to bake the bird treats, aren't we? Oh, probably. Mealworms. Ugh. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Just a little snack. Oh, man. Okay. Get, throw some salami on there. Great. Any... Mm -hmm. Nigel gave that to me when oh. I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Werewolves. Lycanthropy Great. by Paliki Vadas, University of Manhattan. <laughs> Since ancient times, the cunning savagery of wolves has both terrified and awed the humans with whom they came into contact. In Europe, where wolves were a constant threat to livestock and, allegedly, to small children and lone travelers, legends as to their evil viciousness became widespread. Predictably, one of these legends involved humans who could transform themselves into wolves. These creatures were called werewolves, were means man, and the transformation came to be known as lycanthropy. The Symptoms Let's I feel like you would have gone with the, the more, like, British-leading lycanthropy. Lycanthropy? Probably because I have read this word much more than I've heard it, and so I might be totally wrong. I don't know. I don't think you are wrong. I just, I felt like you would have gone for the other one. Nope. Um, okay, here's something weird. Weak vision, fatigue, dry tongue, and constant thirst. Oh my god! She... Linda's a werewolf? I, I'm not saying she's a werewolf, I'm just saying those are her symptoms. Good, good, good. Um, especially good that we cannot see her. Yes, otherwise we could look to see about hair growth and long fingernails and eyes changing shape and color. <laughs> Increasingly ill-tempered and aggressive victim usually went into hiding, returning to society only to satisfy its newfound appetite for human flesh. Great. Oh, interesting. Some of them were sort of like selkies and would shed their skin, and if you destroyed their skin, then their werewolf would also be destroyed. Which is not exactly how selkies work, but it's... Um... Okay. Great. <laughs> I love the picture on the right a lot. It's... <laughs> yep. Um... Oh, more important, throughout history there have been instances of people who actually were werewolves, in their own minds at least, Convinced that they had been cursed, they presented all the physical symptoms of lycanthropy and often behaved violently. Because they fully believed that they had become werewolves, they acted like werewolves. As a result, the people around them treated them like werewolves, which only reinforced their delusion, thus trapping them in a vicious circle. Blah, 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 blah. If you believe you know someone who's undergone a lycanthropic metamorphosis, please contact me. <laughs> oh, oh, um, hold on. Take the number. I feel like it's going to be in our phone automatically. Mm. Like in Shadow Ranch, any number we saw was just then added to our phone. Added. Oh, whoops. I'm not going back. It's fine. Okay. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Oh, hell yeah. Caitlin, I can already read most of these runes. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Um, is there more? Yes. 
This is so exciting. Okay. I am going to write it down because sometimes things are Yeah, I have screen it as well. Okay, perfect. But a bunch of these are the same as what I know. Because I'm a huge nerd. Oh, that's a new one for Jay that I haven't seen before. Okay, perfect. Oh, a few more. Um... Oops. We definitely at some point should uh, transcribe all the marginalia. Yeah. Including the one at the bottom that just says mom with hearts, which is really sad. <laughs> yeah. Poor Jane. Okay. Ooh. Oh. That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Tell me about Randolph. Randolph the Red, <sighs> so named for his bright red hair, was considered a hero at the Battle of Portiers. For his heroism, King Edward III awarded him with the lands in the region called Penvelin. That's how we got our name. Wow, I don't want to ask about all of these people. No. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my god. <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Letitia is what still alive. What do you alive. know about Letitia? Loves plants, hates noise. You can ask her about it. Oh. She's usually in the conservatory with her plants. Who was Alan? He was my grandfather, but I didn't know him because he died when I was little. I guess he was nice. Why is no one from the present on this family Who tree? Who is Esther? <sighs> Esther Pemberlin Romberg, born in 1897 and died in 1951. Her friends called her Polly. She's actually a bird. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that as necessary. <laughs> The werewolf things is really just a red herring. Oh. This family is cursed with were parrots. Yeah, I guess. What is this book? Don't know, really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Those are astrological symbols. These are something else. I don't know. Huh. Okay. And then more of those triangles. Each of those cups seems to be associated with a Roman numeral. Oh my gosh. Sure is. This is, um, they're just throwing a lot of symbols at us really fast. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. What is happening? <laughs> ah! Okay. okay. Sure, sure, sure. Great. Oh, that's that must probably be her Jane's mom. biological Who's this? mom. That's my mom. Yeah. My real mom. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. Cool. Okay. Oh, what the hell? That was written by Charles Pemberlin way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really familiar, you know? As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent friends and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. 
with the stalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in knowledge as a dedicated geometer, and fear not the ravages of Father Time. 4. Dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. You know, just kid stuff. Just kid stuff? What the hell is this house? <laughs> At the oh, bottom of that tapestry. You must be Nancy. I'm Jane's tutor, Ethel. How do you do? Jane is very excited you're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. I saw Jane's lesson schedule. That's quite an unusual list of subjects. Yes, well. I'm sorry, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, I guess I'll be going then. It was a pleasure meeting you, Nancy. A pulse will cross again, I'm sure. Yeah? There goes my cell phone. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Literally speaking, no, but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Um, Nat in the chat says, what if I changed my ringtone to Nancy saying, there goes my cell phone, and I think you should 100% do that. Please do. Absolutely. Okay. There goes my cell phone. Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda. Although... Although what? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason, which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Not before she started turning into a werewolf. Please, Please tell me it's a dialogue straight. option to reveal that she's a werewolf. <laughs> she's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. In what way? The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Okay. Great. Goodbye, Mrs. Petroff. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. That's a beautiful window. Is this our room? Yes. Yeah, with the moon. It has the moons on the door. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's like a clock chiming. Let's just see. <gasps> hey, we can call Ned again this game. And yeah, that author's number is in here. Perfect. Now. Perfect, perfect. Let's see if we can look anything up on the web or if we have any... Oh, do you think this is from the Hardy Boys, perhaps? I'm sure it is. Congrats on your Great Britain gig. We'll be thinking of you while we help our neighbor Mr. Bergdorf install his brand new satellite dish and big screen television. Hopefully our unselfish act of kindness will help him forget all those petunias we trampled while chasing flyballs into his yard. And will compel him to invite us over once in a while, like whenever a major sports event is on. Good luck cracking the case, Frank and Joe. Oh, whoops. Okay. Hi, bye from Bess and George. Well, you're off to England and we're off to sailing camp. 
Hopefully this will be the year Bess and I win the regatta instead of those snobby Maxwell twins. Bess thinks they should be disqualified for being too tan and setting a bad example for the younger campers when it comes to skin care, but I don't think the camp director is going to buy it. Anyway, no digital devices allowed, so cheerio, pip pip, and we'll talk to you when you get back. Beautiful. Dear valued customer, just a reminder that your current phone plan does not allow for the sending or receiving of emails outside the continental United States. Hopefully your decision not to upgrade to a more flexible, albeit somewhat more expensive plan has not caused you too much inconvenience. Sincerely, customer service, Fleesum, <laughs> Fleesum, Great. phone uh-huh. company. Perfect. We can still make calls. We just can't send emails. You know. Makes no sense. Um, okay. Let's, I think we passed some stairs. Yeah. And I want to go down those stairs. But I'm afraid the creepy music is going to start again. Oh, look at that. Little central labyrinth. That's nice. Mm Mm-hmm. I so, can't leave Blackmore yet. <laughs> okay, Nancy. Looks like a piece is missing. Fascinating. What does Tempest Fujit mean? mean? Forgotten time. No, I don't know. Well, a fugitive, like... I don't know. That's what it reminds me of, but... Do the it other means pillars say other time things? flies. Okay. That makes sense. We're going to look at those portraits in just a second. Hello. What about Omnia Vincit Amor? Oh. Looks like Love conquers all, I'm going to guess. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm not going to look it up. That's how confident I feel. Yeah, I'm pretty I'll sure I'll stand here right. on my wrongness. I mean, literally, all is conquered by love, right? Because love is at the end, but... Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Um, so, before we had faux Copeland, and this is faux, like, Beethoven... something else for this another missing piece oh look at the reflective like the piece is missing Ooh. look at the reflective what the um like reflective effect on the oh, marble floor wow. i'm kind of impressed yeah very nicely done game uh-oh Looks like a piece is missing. (laughs) So every column needs something? Yes. Lost its perditi. What's perditi? Man, there's so much Latin in this game. And unlike the French and Royal Tower, I can't just translate it all. Yes. And it's here, too. Newman Lumen. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I don't think we need to translate that one. I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> Newman Lumen, you know? Yep. Ars Longa. Adasis Fortuna Iuvat. Something. It's just so much. Who oh, this man look who at does that not gargoyle? Have a crest. Yeah, no crest, but a little shoulder gargoyle. Hugh there. Jackman from Les Mis. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're gonna have to use? Oh, Pulcritudo. That's beauty. Pulcritude is beauty. Really? Yeah. 
it's one of those words that sounds like the opposite of what it means. Yeah. Pulchritudinous means beautiful, and it's so bizarre. So beauty Great. or beauty something in all. Sine scientia ars nihil est. Without science, we are nothing. Indeed. You know, science, a unicorn, a cog, a drop, and, and <laughs> nuclear, and, uh, and, 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 you know. Yeah. Great. Oh, look at that doorway. No. Oh. What? I was so sure that was going to be locked. Where does this lead? This is a staging area for ghosts. Why is this castle so what big? What's happening there? Please stay What's out of the kitchen until the fire damage is repaired. Uh oh. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where we just came out of, I guess. Oh, it's In on the other side of the recognition of Brigitte Penvalin, sponsor of the Essex Cricket Club, 1751 some cricket bats and a ball. Is there anything else there? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Wait, what is that door? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, oh yeah, I saw I a shot this. of the conservatory and I was like, I have to play this game because it looks so fucking cool. This is some real, like, Crystal Palace shit. Like, look at this. Mmm. Oh, this is going to be a puzzle. This must be some kind of well, but where's Nancy? the water? Yeah. Sounded so petulant about that hose not working. <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't work! doesn't work! <laughs> so we're gonna what have to get that butts? fountain going. Those Joey, frogs are gonna squirt go back. Joey, water I out of their mouths. Looking at the frog butts. Okay, look, look some at frog them. butts. Look at them! Oh, they're good. Okay, they're I'm great. Good. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Carnivorous plant. Cool. Ooh. Is this plant gonna eat us sometime during this game? Yeah, that's definitely it. There's a death a state idea. in that. Ah! <laughs> sure enough? Hey. Can you do that again, please? Because I want that screen cap really bad. Oh my god. Um, I didn't realize it would do it so quickly. Do it. Okay, here I go. That's probably not a I'm good ready. idea. Ah! Great, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Feed me, Nancy! The chat is just screaming. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. Fine. Oh, that's. I want to play Tetris with the plants, though. All settled in? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must. Uh, <laughs> okay. Civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew Hugh is away on business, I am in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you, but please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. Is anyone else staying here? We do not have any permanent house staff, if that's what you mean. The Penvalents have always been self-reliant. We get on quite well without being continuously mollycoddled by a squadron of insipid gossiping ne'er-do-wells. Now, we do have Jesus. two other house guests. Oh, Mr. Nigel Mukherjee, who is researching the Penvalent family history in the library. 
and Ethel Bossini, Jane's tutor. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply She's needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is Yeesh. not the United States. We do things differently, <laughs> or should I say properly, here. The doctor believes it's Great. just a case of nerves. A case of nerves? Is that what you believe? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. All I've been told is that Linda is unwell, and that in her stead, I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You may have the run of the house, but do not break anything, and refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. And before I, I have forget, bad news for you about us, rebottled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with oh. a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. Hell yeah. Okay. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. I'm concerned about that thing I saw outside. It was purely your imagination, unless you saw a, a stray dog. But I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. Great. This conservatory is very beautiful. But why isn't there any water in the well? I'm not quite sure. We never really used it, but it was always full of water. That is, until my brother died. And then... It just dried up. Most of these plants were brought over by my grandfather. He was quite the adventurer. I remember when he brought back Lulu from the Amazon. At first, Mother wouldn't oh. allow us to play with it because it had picked up too many unsuitable words from sailors. But it gradually learned proper manners. Okay. Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Please be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. What was your brother Alan like? Oh, he was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, but now he's gone. He died a month after my husband passed away. And ever since, I've been here all alone. Until Hugh came back from the United States, that is. Goodbye. Run along. Nancy Drew, queen of strikingly abrupt conversation changes. Wow. I'm hungry. Who's ready for some nummy? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. <laughs> Cool. Um, probably we should call it here. Yeah. Because we're at an We've hour and three minutes. I mean, we still haven't found the library, so there's definitely more, but. It looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Oh, wow. Um,. But I just want to, like, play this entire game now, and we can't do that. I mean, we could, but I don't think that's the plan. I don't think we've ever died on the first stream of a Nancy Drew game before. Yeah. Good job, us. Great work, everybody. Just jumping in with both feet. Um... Okay, oh, I want to just look at our notebook a minute. I got the feeling that Tudor wasn't really eager to talk to me. Well, the first thing we did was kind of, like, insult that her lesson plans were not great. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to look on the web. 
And we should open that box in the room, because I think the charts in the room can help us do that. Great. Oh, also Brigitte Penvalin's coat of arms. Mm. So many things. We have so many they're, things to do. They're not they're not labeled, so we probably have to ask Jane about for about Brigitte to figure out who she is down in the hall. Mm. Didn't she say that it was the lady in black, or was that a different woman? The lady in black is the one who put, put the, the stuff on Linda's. Right, but she said that that lady looked like someone in a painting. I thought, mm. She did. <laughs> she was like, I know it sounds weird, but she looked kind of like that lady in black in the painting downstairs. Or something along those lines. Is that the same person who lived in our room? Or is that a different person? I don't know. Brigitte is the one who lived in our room, and I don't know if she was supposed to be the one in black. I don't remember. Okay. We'll figure it out. That... Yes. I just well, go to this promises. List. This is a very promising and wild start to a game. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Okay, haven't done that. Check. Hmm. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. Nope. This is what I want. We're gonna save... Oh, God. <laughs> great. Find the library. Cool. Um... Uh... Okay, a few highlights from the chat. Um, Nat said, we do things differently, like talk in terrible fake accents. <laughs> Tim said, please talk to the bird again. Nat said, that was such an impressive death, too. I like how no one warned you there was a man-eating corpse flower or whatever. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, that is it for us, folks. I am so excited about the rest of this game. It's what a strong start. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad we got, like, a fun little, I mean, by fun, I mean terrifying little, Death? like, cutscene. Well, at the beginning, I mean. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. And we will be back with more next week at the same next time. Next Monday. Same time, same place, same Nancy. Drew. I... That's the one. <laughs> That Nancy in particular. No other Nancy's allowed. Do you think when Nancy introduces herself, she says, Drew, Nancy Drew? Well, that's my cell phone. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, thank you all for watching, everyone. See you next week. Well, you'll Bye. see the game. None of us will see each other. Bye! Bye! <laughs>